have at Kraya Jai. It was great. It oh. was awesome. The presence of God was, oh my God, it was there. You like, heard it first. Yes. Kraya Jam was litty. The entire country has been decimated. We may have to evacuate people from Barbuda. But in the meantime, we will be sending over tarpauling and different supplies uh, to at least keep you in the interim. We will review the situation and we'll make a decision. Two things happened the day after Prime Minister Gaston Brown addressed the people of Barbuda. Nearly every one of the almost 2,000 Barbudans were forced to evacuate. And much of the rest of the world learned that Barbuda exists. The less developed, less glamorous sibling of Antigua, Barbuda was completely leveled by Hurricane Irma. For the first time in 300 years, it was left uninhabited. Now we just arrived at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium, and this is one of the shelters that are housing Barbudans. As you know, Barbuda has been devastated. All of the people have been evacuated from Barbuda over into Antigua. And we're going to bring some of the things here that we will be giving out to the, the evacuees. So we just thank God for bringing us safely here. And we're going to go in now and meet with some of the people. And we would like to thank everyone who has supported us, who have given to this mission. And we know that God will bless you greatly. This is our second leg of our day, our ministry day. And we are here at the St. John's Salvation Army. And we're giving away clothes for children, young adults, and older adults. People of all ages. So we're very happy to do this. Thank you to everyone, everyone, everyone that donated throughout the year, I think. Um, they've donated through Exousia Ministry and other ministries and people that don't even go to church. So thank you for your donation. Thank you for everything. And this is the moment where we get to really give back. We are about championing the cause of the poor. And wherever there's a need, we know that God will use us by His grace. So it is going to be a wonderful thing just to go in and to share the love of Jesus Christ with these wonderful people. What do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. I hear a dresser. A doctor. A doctor. A teacher. A teacher. I hear a dresser. A doctor. A doctor. A A bed. A bed. And, but the Lord said to me, you cannot deal with it or you should not deal with it from the top down. You got to go from the bottom up. So in other words, the Lord is saying that most of his people, even in the leadership position, are already set in a mode that is difficult to break and to change. So what the Lord has been saying, and this is where prayer jam was born. Mm -hmm. The Lord is saying, go now to the youth because they are easy to mold. They're easy to shape. It's easier to fashion them in the likeness of Christ. I've been on this journey with my parents from that time. And I just thank God because I've seen the passion for the country of Antigua and Barbuda. That's why I was so excited because this is a 50 year anniversary. This is something that God gave to Bishop Bradford. He said, get as many people as you can to come and pray for the nation. And we wanted to make sure that the young people on the island have a voice in prayer and have a platform to enjoy themselves in prayer. Some of them, they, they look at intercessory prayer as laborious sometimes. Sometimes they look at spiritual warfare as laborious. And we're trying to show them that there are different forms of prayer. There are different ways that you can pray. You can pray through song. You can pray uh, intercessory types of prayer. You can do spiritual warfare. And, you know, some people might do it a bit more solemn. Some people do it a bit more uppity, so to speak. 
know? So we're just trying to show them their different styles, their different ways to do it. And as a young person, you might have a bit more energy and want to kind of jump up a little bit to praise God. So you're right. able to jump up and praise God at Prayer Jam. Run right? around the right. building. All right. All right. Now, uh, another feature for the Prayer Jam night is the Glow Show. Tell us about that. Yes, we have a glow show. We bring out glow-in-the-dark sticks and balls, and we have so many different types of glow-in-the-dark. Some of the t-shirts, we add um, glow-in-the-dark logos that are on them. So we are just, um, you know, God calls us to be the light in the darkness of the world. And we're the light of the world, and this is one way that we express that, by having things glow-in-the-dark. All right, sounds good. Let us know. Oh. 